Our faculty and students specialize in tackling important public health problems that require integrated contributions of multiple specialties, including but not limited to environmental and occupational medicine, occupational hygiene, environmental and occupational epidemiology, environmental toxicology, aerosol technology, ergonomics, exposure assessment, risk assessment, analytical methods development for emerging pollutants, omics studies, medical entomology and vector control, and hazard control, including ventilation. Nowadays, uh, people are very concerned about the quality of the environment, for example, the air quality, because it is related to people's health. And uh, so from the aspect of uh, occupational and environmental health sciences, it is very important to monitor the concentration of pollutants in the environment. Um, today, I'm going to show you um, two kinds of um, sampler which has been designed by our lab. Uh, by doing this, we can monitor the air quality of the environment. Uh, for example, this one and it's uh, basically based on the technique of solid phase micro extraction. By clipping on the color, you can take a sample around you. And the next one I'm going to show you is the uh, silica wristband. And by wearing it, you can also take a sample around you and it, could, it can also assess uh, your skin exposures. And after taking samples, we need to use the high-end analytical instruments. By doing this, we can uh, measure the concentration. So uh, with this effort, uh, we can let people know if their uh, quality of environment are okay or uh, they need to make some changes. Our laboratory is working on environmental and occupational toxicology. We intend to understand the impacts of chemical contaminants, pollutants, and environmental stress on health at the molecular levels. Metabolomics has been applied in many of my research on mechanism study and biomarker development. Every day, we inhale various toxic substances or particles in the workplace or the environment. The substance or particle can cause lung disease or cancer. One of the major challenges in modern medicine is how to detect the disease when we are still feeding health. Our laboratory has developed a new technology to analyze volatile organic compounds in exhaled breeze. These compounds are released from our cancer cell or disease, circulate through the bloodstream, and then released from our breath. Using AI technology and nanomaterial sensor array, we are able to identify the fingerprint of disease in exhaled breeze. We have applied the breath test in lung cancer screening in the hospital the asthma screening in school children, and pneumoconiosis screening in stone worker. This is a very critical point because we can identify high-risk group by a breast test. When we can identify the high-risk group at the early stage of the disease, people have the chance to improve their environment and working condition. We can save their lives. Environmental and occupational health focus on factors from our environment, working and general environment on people's health. So we have to conduct a big study to cover from cell to communities. We use science for society. And one example is uh, in Taiwan, we have conducted over 10 years study in a petrochemical complex and we use all the scientific tools we can have from genetics, from exposures to epidemiology, and then the public health policy. So our science is very useful for dealing with environmental and occupational health issues, especially in this climate change crisis era. The methodology the values and the result we provide is very useful for the survival of humankind.